Hello, hello again. Uh, okay, so this is session two, uh, video three out of three. So this will be the last video of the series. Uh, we left off uh, last time uh, we created these two custom controls over our simple bone structure here with the uh, set up these grouping nodes. Uh, again, I'm just going to say it, it's essential for the rest of the tutorials that you understand this video for sure and understand that the grouping um, convention that we have going on here in the hierarchy. So uh, re-watch that last video if you need to. Um, I With this video, I'm going to create a simple MEL script that's actually going to make this uh, process just a little bit easier uh, if you choose. However, uh, yeah, like I said, you need to understand uh, how that's set up in the hierarchy scene here. Because, like I said last time, I know I can't show the SDK how it works right now, but it's important that it's there. And come time when we do the hand, we will, um, you know, we'll see. So also, uh, we're using, uh, in the class, we're using mouse scripting a character rig in Maya by Chris Marafi. Uh, Chris, he worked for um, Full Sail for quite a while. He's also been in uh, several studios. I don't have his history here, but anyway, just so you guys know, um, this we're, we're, comes right out of chapter two. Some of the basic Mel scripting that we're going to do today. So uh, I'm just going to start out. I, I guess I have this in the scene because we're going to use it. But let's say uh, you know we create a basic uh, sphere, right? And there it is in here. Um, down here, bottom right, uh, almost hidden off here, is the script editor. So you can click on that to open it. Now. Um, let me let me clear this off so this is a little bit easier. And so I'm gonna delete. So I deleted the sphere. Uh, I want to create a sphere, right? Okay, so there it is. So here we go. So we create a sphere, which the mel command is polysphere. And then after this group, we have flags. So these flags are uh, probably radius. Uh, I, I'm not sure what these two are. Oh, that's the size and X size and Y, and uh, where it is uh, X Y Z. So zero one zero the curve, and uh, not sure what C H is. So let's say we needed to find out um, up here in Maya in the help under Mel command reference. Uh, this will open up a. Um, a browser page and it can take you to all the mails that you all the mail scripts you're ever going to need so up here we can obviously go to s and do all that but up here we can just type in sphere and we want polysphere and here we go so here's the flag so uh there's ax is the axis those right the radius Let's shrink this down a little bit and uh which one were, was i trying to look up the uh, CUV and the CH. So, oh, CUV is the created UVs. There we go. And the CH1, oh, down here somewhere. Uh, great. So, bad example. Um, anyway. Oh, there it is right there. Construction history. Awesome. So, it did create history so that... Um, now, yeah, okay, so now I know what that is. So let's say I really needed to, you know, I can go over here and go edit, delete all by type, history. And then I wonder, well, whatever, I'm experimenting and that's not necessary. So anyway, so I'm not going to use the sphere. Um, I, th I thought maybe that would go to zero. Anyway, um, so this is basically where, this, where the script editor lives. We'll get back to what we're working on. And uh, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to just make your own shape, similar to, you know, Comet Tools. He just has simple scripts that create this shape for him. And the one I did is up here, and it's basic little flag-looking tool, kind of. I call it a flag because I use this... Um, on my finger joints so I can easily select this instead of trying to go on and select the bone or whatever and I can make it, it longer so it stands off the fingers anyway so when you notice that I clicked on that it it also dropped it into a double group node already set up for us pretty cool huh so that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do really quick and the script to do it and uh, put up a little button here so let's go ahead and um, delete this guy and this is basically how we did it. So I'm going to clear the script out, of, script editor out again. And when I went to, I went to my um, 
Oh boy, I think my front view. And in the front view, I'm just using a, a CB curve tool, uh, one linear, and boy, where'd my ground go? That's going to be a bummer. There it is. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to hold down X, and you know, this tool is not that big, so I'll hold down X so I snap to a point. I'm just going to go here. Um, here, 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 there, and then that's it. That's my shape. So you can see in the script editor, I've got my shape as a curve here. And the next thing I'm going to do is just like when we did over here, we dropped in a shape and then control G, I'm going to group this. I'm going to group it twice, once, twice. Okay. So then I'm going to go into my outliner where I was. Holding shift will drop down this whole group. I'm going to rename this curve. I'm going to call this left. I'm going to put in um, temp just to hold a spot because it can't come up with the bone every time. Um, left temp control. Okay. And I'm going to name this one left temp control SDK just like our other ones. Now I know we have to do this once, but trust me, this is. Little time saver and off for offset. Okay, so now we have our we have our guy here. So um, this is the shape that I'm going to use. Uh, oh, geez, I don't know. Five times. How many knuckles? One, two, three. So you know, fifteen times. All right. So I don't want to create that shape every time, and I don't want to have to group all these. So in the script editor, this makes it easy enough. So down here is our workspace. We can either be in Mal or Python. So I want to create a Mal script. So I don't have to redo this 15 times. So uh, this is my shape. I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it. Paste it down into here. Here, let's just open this up. Wow, it's a little big. Boy, I'm picking. Um, okay, so I have my curve. Now what I want to do right after that is I want to rename my curve. So I'm going to do it a little bit out of order. Um, so when you make a curve, right off the bat, Maya is going to call it curve one, right? If you anything you do, sphere, sphere one. So I'm going to rename. I'm going to use this command here, rename curve one to what I want it, left temp control. Okay, then I need to group it, right? Now here's here's why I'm moving these out of order, because now I'm going to group it. Okay, now if I grouped it again, um. Well, I'm going to group this, and then I'm going to rename the the group one right here to the SDK. So this is the next level up. So I have to rename group one. Now, we're going to work with variables and return values later, but the reason I'm pulling this out of order is so because if I group it, the second time it's going to be called group two. And I guess I could change the code and write group two. I'm kind of double talking. Anyway, this is the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to rename the curve. I'm going to curve loop it. And then I'm going to rename the group. Then I can use the same line of code and group that. And then it's I can use the same. Now this is going to be group one. Um, well, I kind of made it confusing by changing all these things around. But anyway, that's what I wanted to do. So now, after I rename group 1 to left temp control SDK, and then I group everything again, it's going to be group 1 again. I hope that's understandable. That's kind of why I switched out. So Maya's changed this group 1 again. When it creates another one, it's going to call it group 1 and then name it. So this is basically just kind of handy code so that you can run this again and again. And right after you group it, you're, we are renaming it. So I'm not sure if that makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. Here we go. So in order to, this is our mouse script. That's it. So in order to save this, I'm going to highlight on this middle mouse button, and I'm going to drag it up to our shelf. Okay, I'm going to move the stuff out of the way a little bit. I'm going to check my time really quick. Oh, pretty good. And um, let's delete this guy out of here so that we're not confused. So everything's gone, right? Now, simply, I'm just going to make sure you're not selecting anything, and then click on our script, and there we go. Check it out. There we go.
that's all set up it's double grouped and it's ready to be parented over which by the way is the next script we're going to work on uh so um well, let me pause this there's someone want to cover and i got five minutes i think yeah um anyway i was just gonna say so you know you can go in here and let's just say you know you didn't want mine this is gonna save in here and you wanted like uh under, I mean, you guys need to do something different if you're in my class, obviously. Polygon primitives, let's just say s sphere. Now, if you do a sphere, you don't need 20 subdivisions, like maybe like four or something like that. And there we go. So let's say it's like that. And, you know, let's say this is your custom shape. Hey, that's kind of cool. Um, well, geez, I don't know whatever uh anyway all i wanted to say was that um you can take this substitute this code let's say control copy and paste it in here and then take out the curve right and then put your sphere in here and then we scaled it okay so i'm gonna put that right there all right and I mean, quickly to finish this up, so I'll highlight it, middle mouse drag, up there. So there we go. So I'm going to delete this out and delete this one out. Oops. Delete. Okay, so now on the second button is your sphere. And, oh, I, all the names are bad. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, that was a bad sample. I'll have to clip some of this out, maybe. Let's see. 11 minutes. Um, well, anyway, I'm not going to clip this. Uh, sorry, that, obviously, this is all for the curve, and I'm renaming the curve. And, oh, I don't know if I can fit this in. Rename curve, paste. Let's try this. Uh, this is not really what I want to cover trashing that we're deleting this it's basically it stopped running the script because it ran into an error so there we go and it's not doing what i want okay sorry this i wasn't planning on this so i'm running out of time anyway when you rename this uh Mel's using P Sphere One, not Polysphere. I'm renaming Polysphere. So if I change this, paste this in here, let's see if we can get this to work. I'm gonna bring this up. Just remember it's the third one over. And I'm gonna delete this. And everything's out. And there we go. So a uh, little anyway. Um, what I wanted to show for the rest of this, and I got two minutes. Oh, okay, and is this Okay, that's the one I created, okay? So I can go up into here. What I did just to do the icon is just go up here, Shelf Editor, and under here is all of our commands. I know the one that I need, I want to change is the bottom one, right? So right here under the Command button, by default, there's a folder. It's going to open up our icons, so wherever yours is, you know, look for yours um, under the Preference file. And I just did a little screenshot because uh, I'm a dork. And there's my shape open. And there we go. So now I have my little uh, shape in my custom mail uh, rig or custom, custom mail command and everything. And um, now to save this out. Okay, so... Uh, we have this script here, and now we're going to go through, I'm just going to cover really quick how to save this out. Um, this one down below is all of our extra script. So, I'm basically, I'm just going to, well, either way, I can delete that. And all you need to do is select the part that you want to save, and you just go up on File, Save Script, and it's going to save it as Mel, so I'll just go Jimmy's Shape. Okay, and save that wherever you want. Um, it's going to save it under the script editor, under the prefs. Um, that's fine. There we go. Save, and uh, it's good to go. So um, the second way to do this, well, we're running out of time. But you can also dump this into Notepad and then make sure you save it as a .mel 
Uh, make sure Notepad likes to force .txt, so just make sure that doesn't happen. Save it as a .mel. All right, thanks, guys.